What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna talk about what type of habits do you need to become a millionaire? Let's get right into it. So as I mentioned in my previous video, the first one you will have to learn. It's like majority of people do not understand this. It is persistence, meaning if you fail, continue, get back up, just go again, try again, take whatever mistake that you learn from and reapply it. So I see this as a very basic concept, but at the same time, a lot of people just don't practice it. I just don't get it. It's like they fail once and they're like, oh, I'm done. But in reality, they failed a lot of times. Look at school. A lot of people go to school, right? If you haven't failed before in school or ever got F's and, you know, tests and stuff, I have. You mean, I mean, I'm a straight A student. I got F's before too, because I got lazy. But at the same time is I didn't quit. It taught me a very valuable lesson. Until today, I didn't understand until I got into business is basically in school, if you fail, you get basically screwed for it. But in business, if you fail, you learn something from it and you can reapply it again because there's unlimited tries in a business. You run out of money, you can say, oh yeah, you run out of money, but you can always earn that money back again and try it again. It's basically how hard you want to go for it. So number one, that's the most important one out of all the ones I'm going to list today is persistence. So going down to the next one, number two, it's basically when you become a millionaire, you need to have multiple sources of income. This one, I find that a lot of people are lacking it. But any, anyone who become a millionaire, because there's many ways, you don't have to be making a million dollars a year. You can be making like $400,000 a year, maybe $200,000 a year. You can basically take that money and assuming you don't invest, save up multiple chunks every year. And once you get $1 million, your net worth is a million dollars. There you go, you're a millionaire. Same thing. But this one's really important because investments and having multiple income sources will make your life a lot easier, meaning you'll become a millionaire a lot faster. And this is very important because time is a factor. You have one life to live and the faster you can achieve it there, the better. And of course, legally too. So basically having multiple income sources, so you have your job, your business, investments, and it keeps going down like cryptocurrency, bonds, real estate, house hacking, the list goes on. As long as you can build multiple sources of income, then you can achieve your millionaire status a lot faster. For example, is if you open a business, if you sell your products to in person, like you sell like a service, for example, you sell to people in person. And now these days, business have involved. So you have to take your business to the next level. You must have an in person and you must have a place for online presence meaning you have an in-person presence and online presence, physically and through the digitally, virtual. Because you have two places, you have one you connect to people, really personal, which is physical, and you have your virtual version, which you can connect with a broad amount of people around the world. So the one people will come to you, those will build really strong connections. Those are two you really want. Going down the list, number three is basically mindset. This one is the probably, I say number two, maybe even title number one on how difficult it is to get through people's heads. Mindset, meaning being positive. If you are taking a test, for example, going to the classroom, taking a test, if you think you're gonna fail, you're already losing the game. Before you stepped into the classroom, if you think you're gonna fail this test again, you're already losing the game. You have to have some faith in yourself, believe in yourself. There's some things you can do, just have some faith, have, have that confidence. And simply to build that confidence, is to basically keep trying until you succeed. Once you succeed, you feel a lot more comfortable or doing the same thing over and over again, same as persistence, will hope you make it a lot easier. So being really positive. Basically, if you crash into things that basically if you fail, you know, failing is a really tough thing. It's really negative, but you have to spin it around in a way that makes you happy, makes you learn something, makes you, makes you really positive. If you have family members yelling at you or basically People keep calling you out for things or keep, you know, bullying you, harassing you, whatever. And the name goes on, the list goes on. You just, you just got to take it and spin it off in a more positive way. If you see the world a more positive thing and the way you say things and speak to people in a really friendly and positive manner, I guarantee you it will benefit you because really positive people in modern day society for business can turn out and help you out a lot along the way. Please keep that in mind because number one and three is very difficult. The most simplest thing is the most difficult thing to do, sadly. It's going down to number four. Is simply what people don't have today is of the ability to meet with more successful people. And I just don't get it. It's like, 
they, they, they basically like, oh, this person is rich, but at the same time, they're like, well, I, I don't have any rich friends. You don't have to have a rich friend. You know, you can just go to conventions. Basically, surround yourself for more positive people or more importantly, successful people. So meaning if you don't have any people who are really successful, you can look up to, then go look for them, please. I don't understand why it's so difficult. It's like, how do you look for them? You've got the internet. If you are watching this video, you can go look up conventions. Basically, if you're a tech person, go look up for a tech convention. If you're a person who likes to do philosophy, go look for a convention where you have surround yourself with successful philosophy people. If you're automotive, go join an automotive group. Go enter an automotive basic convention and meet people there. Because when you talk to people, Face to face compared to online, it's a different feeling. And that different feeling can help you build connections. Because connections in life is the way to go. Because you build more connections, you are likely to become more successful because they'll come back and help you. And going down the list is number five. It's basically to let it go. What I mean by this is basically have a mindset, similar to mindset. If some things don't work out for you, for example, if you started a business or you're planning to open one or you're currently open one, and you have people who basically treat you a really horrible way because there's the, all of these things I'm listing all linked together. It's basically to let it go, let it slide. It's, it's not the end of the world. If you fail once, it's not the end of the world. If that client doesn't like you, it's not the end of the world. There are billions of other people. Same thing with basically dating. If that one girl is not right for you or one woman is not right for you or one guy, whoever it is, let it go, you know? If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. It's not the end of the world. I guarantee you there's always something better or someone better. Just don't be so hanging around about it. Meaning, yeah, you, you can be depressed, you can be sad, but there are times, give yourself like a three days, at most three days, you know? Once the third day gone, you forget about it and you move on. You find, you make yourself better because you got one life to live. And that is number five, is letting go. Going down the list is number six. Number six is basically where a lot of people I feel like are missing this, is to pursue your own goals. And why I say this is because a lot of people do not have their own goal set. For some goddamn reason, just people don't have it. They don't know what to do. It's like, I don't really blame people for this because when people are really privileged or they're really lost in thought, they think they have everything in the world because they don't have really anything set. But there are times you gotta wake up, gotta get back to work, and you gotta set a goal. Meaning, find something you're passionate about and go do it. Simple as that. For goals, you always wanna make it from small to big. So you always wanna do something really easy, and when, it, when that becomes really a joke to you, basically natural, you can move up the list because a lot of small things will equal the big things. So I see that a lot of people who are in their younger years saying like seventh grade, eighth grade, high school, I believe they should teach them financially, mental health and setting goals because that will determine their future. And setting goals early is a great thing because it lets you understand what you wanna do in the future. Simply, if you don't have a goal set, then Find one, find something you like to do. If you like gaming, go get into gaming, go streaming, go on Twitch, go on YouTube, simple as that. And number seven, this one is very important too, it is simply sleeping. Yes, I'm being honest, sleep can go a long way. So you see a lot of people, you know, there's entrepreneurs, billionaires, millionaires, multimillionaires, you name it, right? They said, you gotta work as much as possible. Sweat your, sweat all, you know, give out your hard work, work until you drop. For me, you know, that really depends on the person. For me, that didn't work. I couldn't do it. You know, working 12, 14 hours a day, every single day, including over the weekend, I'm gonna burn out. I hate to break it to you. You're going to burn out. Instead, I found, I got a better solution. I found out that a lot of people said the most productive you are, are is basically working in the morning. And I actually find that to be true because back when I started my business, you know, compared to now and before, now I don't follow that rule anymore. But in the beginning, I always slept pretty early, really consistent schedule. Like if I need seven hours of sleep or eight hours, depending on your schedule, if you need 10, some people even need 12, depends on your schedule. You gotta set that time, adjust your body to it, but try to always wake up early in the morning. Cause for some reason, waking up early in the morning, even you feel like, you know, miserable when you get up, like between like six and seven, but some reason that's the time you are the most productive. And I don't know, maybe it's like the morning vibe. It's like a new day, sun's coming up. It just gives you that boost of energy that you're ready to move. For that, a lot of people see that as going to school, but at the same time, when you work in your own business and you're working, it can be pretty motivating at times. 
So basically setting and wake, setting up a sleep schedule and waking up on that exact time every day until you adjust to it. And number eight, this is the one I find yes and no. It's basically working out. What does working out is it helps train your body. You know, besides being healthy, working out really, you know, impacts your mind. Because I realize when you work out, you tend to forget about things, meaning you let your mind just relax, kill off that stress. And when I'm working out, I not be my weightlifting, okay? It's meaning cardio, anything that makes you breathe really hard. Basically, you can maybe do, you know, any type of sport, cardio, just simple, simple workout. A workout uh, usually involves you breathing, basically make your heart rate jump up and down, up and down. Go really low, go really high, go back down. Because, for example, I find the best cardio work for me is simply jogging. Basically, jogging five minutes, run five minutes, go back down to jogging five minutes, making my heart rate jump up and down. It's really healthy for you too. Same time besides health, but mainly, the, I think the best part is, it helps your mind basically release all that extra energy, all those negative thoughts that be racked up in your head. Because if you cannot meditate, or you cannot have a positive thinking for that specific day, because it will happen. It happens to everyone, it's called life. So if that happens, ex try out exercise, because exercise every single day, and exercise just range between 20 and 30 minutes. Some people like to take it longer. For me, 30 minutes is actually perfect. 30 minutes at nighttime. Some people like to do morning, I like to do night. Just basically exercising really helps you understand yourself better. Meaning you understand all that extra energy, all that extra negativity, it's helped you to basically release it through physically, through exercise. And I don't know how do people, you know, it's no, I'm not sure how you can prove this because it doesn't work for everyone, but it works for the majority of the people. But I do know one thing, exercise, as long as you keep it really consistent and try it, you will notice there is a difference. And that is it for this video. These are the eight habits that I've learned, personally learned, that will can make you a millionaire. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on my channel. Peace.